red just anchored here nice and free for us and then this amazing resort from Lizard Island is here and people pay thousands of dollars a night to stay so we're pretty lucky I think Sunset on Lizard Island, another great day. Cheryl and I went for a, uh, a walk up the hill, not this hill fortunately, a small hill, and then a snorkel. And now we're socialising on the beach. Traditional sundowners with all the yachties. And this week we've got music. Another run, I might be a bit stuck. He's only just left Lizard, he's just put it out, out the line, and yeah, <laughs> six o'clock in the morning, a bit early for this. So, is this the new tactic of just um, letting it tire itself out? Yeah, it's out, out to a <laughs> Drag it through the water. <laughs> Just got the light in the water, just hoping the fish will tire itself out. That's no fun, Murray. I can't pull it in, it's too hard. The drag's on full. Don't lose your fishing line. The drag is on full, and it's still not turning clear. After all that, you, you just got off, and your new lure probably no, gone. Ah, oh, cool. <laughs> probably a good thing. It would have been too big. <laughs> you just put the no. line out again, didn't you? Yeah, but nothing on this one. Oh, it went off again. Bloody fish haven't given me a rest today. Come on, you better come and sit down and have a cup of coffee. <laughs> You'll be exhausted. Got nothing to show for it, is it? What's this? Fish number four today? None of them have been born in May. That's what he said, more his the right this size. More my size. Mm. He can actually reel it in. So. Your breakfast is going to get cold. That's all right. Oh, well, you can see it already. Yeah. Oh, nice little sucker. Spanish. Don't you lose that one? Yeah. Now. Number five. I think you better put the fishing line away, Murray. <laughs> oh my 
my goodness. Gonna be bigger? Yep. Yeah. Not too big. Blizzard Island and we're just coming into Cape Melville admiring how much it looks a bit like Magnetic Island with these amazing boulders we're going to anchor in Bathurst Bay just around this next corner and then head over to Flinders Group tomorrow so I got all excited thinking that we were here at Cape Melville 12 hours after we left this morning but unfortunately it's taken nearly another hour to get around the Cape into the bay, Bathurst Bay, where we're going to anchor. Uh, just watching the sunset now, 13 hours later, <laughs> over the Flinder, Flinders Island. And Murray's just preparing to take sails down, etc., and um, pull up our anchor. Been a big day, but a good day sailing. But the clouds lifted and the sun's come out and it's turned into a beautiful day. We're coming up to Denham Island. We're just going to anchor out front of this little beach and go ashore. We've heard that there may be some Aboriginal art drawings on the rocks. So we're going to have a bit of a look before we go further into the Flinders group. Perfect day to anchor here though. Oh ye of little faith, I found this cave on the rock face and there's some artwork in here, look. You can swim here because it's clear and you can see if there's any crocodiles. Might have a quick dip later, but it will be very quick. I'd be very mindful of crocodiles here. Cheryl going for a swim in crocodile infested country. Just like a German backpacker who knows no better. <laughs> okay, that's it. Quickly, quickly. <laughs> <laughs> It was suggested to us that we come in two hours before high tide. It means you can get across the rocky reef that's all out there. We've come in about four hours, four hours because high tide tonight's at five. Oh, I'll probably come in about three hours before high tide, about five tonight. So we've managed to get across the reef all good, but not quite over this little rocky ledge here. Um, we have had to jump in the water very quickly. Um, being conscious of crocodiles obviously um, and we've tied a rope up here to the rocks so that when we come back we'll be able to get to the boat.
we just spotted a croc out here. We were aware that there was one here, so we're just being very cautious trying to get back to the boat. Which is well known that there was one that hangs out near these water tanks here on Flinders, so I'm going to run into the boat as quick as I can. We've had a nice couple of days at the Flinders group and we're heading south now on the start of our journey south. Ironically, we're sailing behind Pied Piper, following the Pied Piper back towards uh, Lizard Island. Motor sailing at the moment is there's not a lot of wind. But, um, tide's taking us, so that's quite pleasant. Another big fish, very big. <laughs> Taking a lot of line out. Yeah. Luckily I can slow the boat down this time because we're um, motoring today. Should I slow down more? No, no, uh, all good. <laughs> that uh, drag is on full. Oh, we're still going. Oh. We're gonna lose this one, I think. I think it just got off. Just got off. Wow. Lost your little. Probably. We've made our second overnight stay since leaving um, the Flinders group. We're gonna to spend tonight here at Eagle Island, which is part of the Airy Reef. Um, last night we spent the uh, night at Bewick Island, uh, just tucked in so we could get some sleep. Uh, both days we've had to motor sail, which um, isn't ideal. You know, we prefer just to sail, but we had to have the motors going both days for two full days. Nice to give them a rest now. of eagles nests. I guess that's why it's called Eagle Island. How nice was that Murray? Beautiful. Lovely clear water. Safe. No stingers just yet. yet. <laughs> Heading back to the boat. the first time we've tried out our fire pit. This will be predominantly for when we're caravanning but it um, comes in handy when you've been out at sea for over three weeks and got a little bit of rubbish to burn. So Nice and compact, nice and safe, it's not going to spread. And we're on the beach. On the sand cave, waiting for sunset. <laughs> Where's your beer, Murray? It was sunny when we got here, so we thought we needed a bit of shade of this structure that was already on this island, but uh, now the sun's gone behind the clouds and probably didn't need it. We're at Lizard Island and while we're here, uh, in a nice shallow spot, the water's clear, we're just going to rub off some of the grime under the bottom of the boat. Murray's going to take you down to have a look at the uh, crop, just see how much is growing there. Quite surprising.
just leaving Lizard Island after a couple of beautiful days there. Had enough time to uh, swim under the boat and finish cleaning the, the holes of Bagheera. So that's the job now done. Today, very, very calm and still. So we're just motoring out to the reefs and we might get a couple of days more of snorkeling out of the reefs. Dolphins here. Oh, and dolphins have just turned up. Oh, they're miles away, Cheryl. Cheryl's still wistfully looking for dolphins. 